Hello, I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People um, and I want to talk about inheritance tax today. Now with inheritance tax not very many people pay it but those that do pay it um, really, uh, really resent it and I think that they resent it for three reasons. Um, because there's a feeling that the super rich get around it with uh, fancy trusts. Um, people feel that it's money that's already been taxed when it was income and when it was received. Um, and it's, it's levied at 40%, which is actually a quite a high rate. So there's a, if, if there is tax to pay, there's a lot of tax to pay. Now, most people don't pay inheritance tax. And that's because there's a, each person has a £325,000 limit. And if you don't use your limit, um, you can, uh, your spouse can use it too. So a, a husband and wife team can leave £650,000 um, before any inheritance tax is paid which for most people is enough. Adding to this, um, there's uh, normally no tax to pay on, uh, on business property and there's a new limit that's coming in over the next few years of £300,000 um, on, uh, on your principal house. So you can leave a million pounds plus your business assets before you pay um, inheritance tax, which for most people is enough. If that wasn't enough, um, there's also a seven year rule so you can give things away and as long as you live for seven years it falls outside um, your estate for inheritance tax. So it's a funny old tax, it's taxed at a high rate but there's loads of wriggle room so that um, you don't actually have to pay it and in many ways it is an optional tax. And the other interesting thing about it is of course it's not the person with the wealth that pays it, it's their heirs that pay it um, and it's the, uh, their heirs problem but the person who can do something about it is the person who has the wealth. And when I talk to people about inheritance tax, normally they, have, they, they fall into two camps. They either are too young, so they're too young to deal with it and too young to think about it, or they're too old um, to do anything about it. And I always think there's about a day, sometime in their mid-60s, um, when, when they're not too young and they're not too old and they're happy to talk about um, inheritance tax. So what to do? I think the first thing to do is to establish whether you do have or your heirs have um, an inheritance tax uh, problem. I think that's the first thing. Um, and then the second thing is to just do simple things and try and build up simple things um, like uh, putting money into your pension or making gifts um, that are simple and appropriate um, so that you can just set things up in such a way as to minimise uh, minimise attacks or, or to get out of the get out of it altogether. So if you'd like to talk about this in more detail, it is something that's quite personal and it needs a, a detailed rev review, uh, taking taking account of your assets and your current position, and then thinking what 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 that's likely to be in the future. So please come and see me. I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People, and I look forward to talking to you.